Hi there and welcome to today's session looking at VLOOKUP using two different sheets. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is using this lovely snowboard spreadsheet here for Airway Outdoors. They sell lots of different snowboards with lots of different models. And our job today is to populate this percentage column down here, um, cell column E. <coughs> Um, and what we need to do is find out if it's price band A what the percentage discount is that that price band snowboard is entitled to uh, and using the second sheet down here which is reduction it contains a little table here that says if it's a price band A snowboard it's entitled to a 9% reduction and if it's a price band B it's entitled to 11 so on and so forth so I click back to current prices and what I want to do is enter the percentage discount using a V lookup. Um, makes it much easier, saves flicking between the two sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this top cell here, cell E5. That's the first one I want to populate. And I'm going to select the FX4 formula. Um, v lookup is already selected here because it's at the top of my list and it's most recently used. I'm going to click OK. And the first thing I want to look for, I'll just move that box up there, is I want to enter the lookup value. And that's me telling Excel what I want to look for. I want Excel to look for price band A. So I'm going to select cell C5, and you'll see over here C5 is populated in my function arguments box. The next thing I need to select is the table array. And that's me simply telling Excel where to find this price band. So I know price band is in the reduction sheet. Click in there and highlight those cells there, cells C6 to D9. And you'll see over here in the function arguments box that you get the word reduction with an exclamation mark. And that's simply because it's in this sheet that's named reduction with the cell C6 to D9. I then need to insert the column index number. For those of you who are on your first workshop, um, you will know the column index number um, relates to the column that contains the information you want to find. Unlike most Excel uh, functions or arguments, it uses cells. On this occasion, it uses the column index number. So this column is not one, but two. And this is the second column, and it contains the information we want Excel to look for. So just delete that word reduction. It's put that word in there because I clicked back into the reduction table to check what column I was looking for. And I just type in two. And finally, the range lookup. So do we want an exact match or an almost near match or something similar? Well, on this case, we want an exact match for our price band. So we type in false for an exact match and you'll see on the right hand side here it's just telling me the parameters that it's going to use when it carries out this search so I'm going to click OK and it's told me their price band A is a 9% reduction I'm happy with that um, what I want to do is copy and paste that formula all the way down and I get this little cross this dark black cross and I hold and highlight it with my left mouse key and I drag that down and look what happens we get lots of NAs and the reason we get that is because Excel is trying to be very intelligent and it's trying to link these A's B's C's and D's here to this space these blank spaces down here so I'll click back in here and I'm going to click the undo key to get rid of those NAs what we can do is use something called absolute cell referencing to tell Excel to only look for information in a certain place. Effectively, stop being so intelligent. I want you to only use this table of information. Um, or I remember it and I help my learners to remember it by saying absolutely don't look anywhere else except this table. Hence, absolute cell referencing. Now, I click on this number nine up here and you'll see in the formula bar that we get the formula that we've just entered. Now what we do for absolute cell referencing is we have to tell it not to look anywhere else. So I know I don't want Excel to look anywhere else except that table in here. Okay, and that's cell C6 to D9. So click back in here into your current prices sheet 
and put your cursor directly in front of the C6 and then you're going to select F4 and you'll see it's put in these little dollar signs. I should add here that when I say F4 it has to be the function 4 key. Don't press the letter F followed by the number 4. At the top of your keyboard there are F keys that contain numbers. This is the F4 function key. You then do the same in front of D9. So select F4 and what you then get is the same dollar signs at the top across here. Hit return and it looks like nothing has happened. You still get the same number 9. But now if you put that black cross over your the edge of your uh, number 9 and the edge of your cell and drag that down, it will populate your percentage column with all of the discounts that are related in this cell here, in these cells here. So we know B was, is 11 and A is 9 and C is 7. And there you have it. You've populated your percentage column using the lookup. Thank you very much for your time today and good luck with populating your own percentage column.